quarantine to always being on the scene. Sea Productions Incorporated has birthed Sea Law Spot and it is hot, hot, hot. Flaming hot with the Holy Ghost fire as Minister Javon Ophelia Butler brings the word from the four winds of God of the third dimension, the place where God lives, pulling down the Kavad, God's Shekinah glory. Introducing Sea Spot, the virtual view. God's view about you. Boxing the devil through prayer. Prayer is your only weapon. God's mercy is renewed every morning. Join us for fire, straight down from heaven, as we go to war through prayer with Sila Serenity Prayer Line with Minister Javon Ophelia Butler. Dial in at 857-347-0610 or stream live from Sila Serenity Prayer Line on Facebook. For prayer requests, send your email to line at gmail.com. Moving the nations through prayer and Sila Spot, the virtual view. Catch the wave and join the movement. Like us now. All things, Romans 8 and 28, for your good. Harder not your heart. And allow your heart to say yes to the spirit of obedience. The Lord is calling this nation down to its knees. Stop praying, heal the land, and ask God to heal you so that you can heal the land. God bless you. Fresh wind blowing sweet. Fresh wind blowing sweet. Fresh wind blowing sweet. Holy Ghost fire. Wonderful morning. Happy New Year. <laughs> I'm telling you, we Lord, my God, we have made it to 2023. Amen. I'm telling you, the Lord is still in the blessing given in the land of the living. Congratulations to you. If you are looking at me, I'm live and full on this morning. Happy New Year to everyone. I know everyone is excited about the new year. Yep, it comes to bring for us, amen. So we are grateful on this wonderful, wonderful first day of the first fruit of the first month, amen. Jesus Christ was the first fruit and it still is the first fruit that sits on the right hand side of the Father. Good morning to everyone. I'm not calling names on this morning, amen. But I'm telling you, God's blessings to everyone that is tuning in and watching this wonderful broadcast as we come forth on this morning. I'm telling you, the year of 2023, I like to say it's the year of recompense. Amen. The Lord is restoring the years. I want you to know it. If you don't know it, God is restoring the years that the canker worm has taken away from you. We're going to talk about those scriptures on this morning. I want you to share. Can you share the thread on this morning? 
share this morning, invite somebody to come in. We had a wonderful running of our Sea Lot Spot Marathon on yesterday. How many people enjoyed it? If you enjoyed it, I wanted to put Minister Javon. I enjoyed it. I'm telling you, we wanted to make sure that we sent the refreshing that people needed for this year of 2023. I myself have been experiencing a refreshing. Amen. God is refocusing. He's refocusing us. He is renewing our minds through the word of God. Am I right about it? Not is he only renewing our mind. He is he is retracting some things back to us and he's rerouting us. Am I right about it? And as he retracts and reroutes, he is restoring. Oh, I want you to catch it. I'm telling you, how many people know that the enemy, he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Am I right about it? But Jesus says that I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. That's John 10, 10. Everything I decree and declare, Job 22 and 28. It says is that if you decree and declare a thing, if you declare and decree a thing, that it will be established. I decree and declare, I declare and decree that everything that the devil has stolen from you, my God, you will experience recompense in this year of 2023. Oh, God's blessings to everyone. I love you on this morning. God's blessings to everyone that's tuning in to my faithful partners, Dr. Dickerson, Mrs. Bernice, Harris Scott, that's Tasha's mother. I'm telling you, to everyone that tunes in faithfully, Miss Lily, Pastor Gordon, all of my CLA Spot partners and contributors to CLA Productions Incorporated. Happy New Year to you on this abundant and blessed morning. I'm telling you, God has a word for his people on this morning. You know, when I was preparing to come on on this morning, I said, God, what do you want me to tell your people? What do you want me to say on this morning? And he said, I'm going to bless you as you talk. So I know that he wants me just to talk on this morning. This is not a preach. This is just a friendly conversation on this morning as you have entered into 2023. Amen. I asked the Lord about this edition of Preach That Truth. He said, I want you to continue Preach That Truth into 2023. How many people know that the undoctrinated word of God is important? We have to preach the truth. Am I right about it? My God, I feel the glory on this morning. Amen. God, is, he gets excited when we understand that he is the spirit of truth. Am I right about it? And God wants us to preach the truth. He wants us to preach the word of God. It doesn't matter what someone says. It doesn't matter how someone feels. Even when we preach, when we pray, when we minister, we have to do the truth. We have to preach that truth. Whatever God show you, if you are prophetic, whatever the spirit of the Lord is showing you in that moment, the spirit of obedience has to activate in you. And you have to be able to preach the truth. Pray the truth. Am I right about it? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you have to be truthful with your own self. Come on. We got to be truthful. We have to live in the spirit of truth because God himself is truth. Oh, I want you to catch it. Faithful and true. Do not revelation say that Jesus Christ himself is faithful and true. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it on this wonderful happy new year morning. I'm telling you, God is doing it by his spirit. Amen. I'm telling you, I'm sitting in front of the computer. God's blessings to everyone, everyone that is chiming in on this morning. I am grateful for your commitment. And I'm grateful that everyone is tuning in to see what the spirit of the Lord is saying. Amen. I'm telling you, God is on me about that truth. I'm telling you, Jesus Christ is faithful and true. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. I'm, I'm peeking in on something. I'm telling you because something came in my spirit as I was saying that. My God, Revelation 3 and 14, there it is. It says Jesus called himself faithful 
in truth. 2023 is going to be about truth. I know that it is a time of recompense. But see, as I sat and I ministered to you on this morning, the Lord said that 2023 is going to be about his truth. His truth, there it is. There it is, his truth. I'm telling you, God says it's going to be about his truth. His truth. In other words, in 2023, we will not be able to live a lie. Because God is un he's going to unveil, he's going to reveal, my God, his truth in 2023. Oh, I want you to catch it. This is why restoration is connected to 2023. Because everything that you have lived out in 2022, that was not the real situation or the real thing that was supposed to happen for you. God says in 2023, it's going to be about my truth. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to put that scripture up for me. Revelations 3 and 14. See, God is going a different way on this morning. Amen. God is bringing me by a different way on this morning. I'm telling you, I came on. I, I wanted to just talk. Amen. But, but God is talking about his spirit of truth. And let every man be a liar. Am I right about it? Oh, I want you to catch it. Because, see, we got some people that want to live falsely before God. We got some people that want to minister falsely. See, see, let, let me tell you what I've learned. This is what I've learned. When you preach the truth, it draws enemies because people want to live in a lie. People want you to minister to them in a lie. But in 2023, the Lord just told me, my God, I'm, I'm getting electric. God says that the lie will die in 2023. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. The lie will die in 2023. Everything that the enemy has taken from you in this past year of 2022, the Lord says that the lie will die. Oh, people that's falsely accusing you. People that's falsely talking about you. People that's falsely summing up who you really are. God says in 2023, the lie will die. What are you saying, Minister Javon? Some of your reputations are getting ready. My God, I feel the glory. God says some of your reputations are getting ready to be restored. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch what I just said. God says in 2023, the lie will die. Your enemies that you see on today, God says you will see them no more. Exodus 14 and 13. Oh, I want you to catch what Minister Javon is saying on this morning, on his sanctified New Year's Day. Come on. God is speaking to his church on this morning. The Lord is speaking to the body of Christ on this morning. Because let me say this to you. You cannot start off something on a lie and say that it's going to live. Oh, I'm talking. You cannot start something in a lie and say that it's going to live. The devil is already a liar. I like to say that when things start off on, on the, on, in, in, in a lie, it's cursed from the root. Come on. And you cannot make the end of that thing a good thing. Which brings me to my title. The end, the ending of a year. The end, no, a year ended. 2023 trending. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. What are you saying, woman of God? A year ended. 2023 trending. That means that you are now being talked about. Come on. The realms of the heavens are talking about you. This is why we cannot start things off wrong in 2023. Because the curse is going to follow you. Come on. I'm talking on this morning. This is the first day of January of 2023. The lie will follow you. 
until December of 31st of 2023. This is why we have to be very important what we do on this first day of January. Are you following me? I want you to follow me. Whatever you do on the first day of January, whatever you do on the first, it's going to affect the rest. Am I right about it? We are talking about first fruit giving, but not monetarily. We're talking about first fruit giving of ourselves. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. God says, I'm restoring the years. But that means in order for him to, to bring you through a full restoration, I want you to say full restoration. In order for God to bring you through a full restoration, come on, we have to live in the spirit of truth. Oh, see, this is what the spirit of the Lord just said. God says, I'm only restoring those that are truthful unto me oh see because we have some people even as we have marched from 2022 to 2023 we have some people that want god to bless a mess come on but god says i'm not in that mess anymore come on god says i left that in 2022 god says i'm now bringing you through your process god says i will bless no mess oh did you catch it the Lord says, I will bless no mess. God says, in order for you to prevail in 2023, the Lord says, you have to live in my truth. Somebody say, the lie, it has to die. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. I heard the Lord say just now. He said, those that will repel, those that will rebel against what I am saying, God says, I myself will remove the lie. Oh, I want you to catch it. The Lord says, I myself will remove the lie. This is why he is declaring through his maid servant that the lie will die in 2023. That means the things that we have been living in, that falsehood. I hear the Holy Spirit say falsehood. The untruth of a thing. The Lord says that in 2023, it shall not be. <laughs> oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it on this morning. In 2023, God says, it shall not be. Even the things that we will try to hold on to. God says, I'm coming for it. God says, I'm coming to get it. The Lord says, I'm going to break it from you. Because the Lord says, I'm looking for you to be true. Oh, I want you to catch it. What is that thing God is talking about concerning you on this New Year's day? The first of the first. The giving of yourself. Starting things off right in the spirit of obedience. Am I right about it? Philippians 1 and 6 says that he who begin a good work is able to complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. The Lord says, everything that I've started in you, it will be and it shall be completed. The Lord says, you shall not be defeated in this year of 2023. You will march in 2023, as I declared on the last Sila spot, in glee. Oh, I want you to catch it. What is glee? Glee is a... Uh, excitement it is an overwhelming joy because of a thing because of a situation because of a person or a happening so as you enter into 2023 you are now a foot and two feet in 2023 this year you are going to experience full glee g-l-e-e -E. A full excitement of the goodness of the Lord. You know, we like to say in the Baptist church that God is mm -mm good. That is the type of good that you are getting ready to experience. But in order for you to experience that type of goodness, you have to understand that you have to live in the spirit of truth. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. Not only do you have to live in the spirit of truth, you have to be faithful in truth. 
If you are a reflection of who Christ is, if you are a reflection of who God is, then you will not have a problem living in truth. Am I right about it? Oh, I want you to catch it on the sanctified day. I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. Revelation 3 and 14. The Lord says Jesus called himself faithful and true. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. Jesus called himself faithful and true. God is looking for a reflection of you in this earth realm in this year of 2023. God is looking for a reflection of himself in you in 2023. We have to be faithful and true in order for us to experience the restoration, the renewal, the recycle, the restoring of a thing. Come on, the rerouting of a thing. We have to enter it with the spirit of truth. God will not bless anything. I hear the Holy Spirit say that's vulgar. My God from Zion. My God from Zion. The Lord said that he is not going to bless anything that is vulgar in his sight. I've been hearing the Lord say strange fire. Mm. Strange fire. Strange fire. Meaning that it's, 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 a, it's a worship that people are sending up to God that's faulty. So it stinks in the nostrils of him. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. Because see, we think that when we preach, we think that when we minister, we think that when we meet other people, we give them a word of inspiration, a word of wisdom. We think that we've done something, but we have to understand. The Lord says that a lot of times when we preach, minister, when we give inspirational words, if it's not according to his word, it's strange fire. Oh, I want you to catch it. The way that we live can exude strange fire. Am I right about it? Oh, I want you to catch it on this sanctified day. The Lord says that in order for you to experience recompense, to experience restoration, to experience glee in 2023, you have to live in the spirit of truth. Oh, God. Oh, God. I want you to catch what I'm saying. I want you to catch what I'm saying. The Lord says, stay, stay on that scripture. Revelations 3 and 14. Jesus called himself faithful and true, faithful to the things of God, faithful to the laws of God, faithful to the statutes of God, faithful to the instructions of God, faithful, 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 not fake faith. I'm, come on. God says not fake faith. See, some people act like they're faithful. They have a or aura, or they act like they're faithful. When they're really not faithful, they're fake. Come on. But in order for you to have the spirit of discernment, to be able to know about those kinds of people, you have to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You have to have a relationship in this word. In order for you to discern false teachers. Come on. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you, my God, I feel the glory. I want you to catch what I'm saying. I'm giving you a gumbo pot of a lot on this morning. I'm giving you a gumbo pot of a lot on this morning. Because some of you have a lot of blessings that it was locked up in 2022. That God is ready for him to give a divine release. So that you can receive what God is trying to place in your life. What God is trying to put in your life so that you can continue to understand your assignment. Am I right about it all this morning? God says that the assignment that he gave you when you was birthed into the world to complete. The Lord says those are the things 
that he wants to restore back to you so that you can catch up with the timing of him. Some of us are late on schedule. Am I right about it? So God is getting ready to give you a speed shot. But you can't get the speed shot. You can't get the speed shot. When we go to the doctor and we're not feeling well, and the doctor wants to give you a remedy. Am I right about it? The doctor wants to give you some kind of remedy. And, and you are there. You're not feeling well. You always want to give you a shot. Am I right about it? Because we know that that shot is going to work quickly. Come on. We don't want to take pills. We, we don't want to do the remedy. We want that doctor to give us a shot because we want instant relief. Am I right about it? What are you saying, woman of God? The Lord says in this 2023 year, he said, I'm getting ready to give you a speed shot. Come on. But you cannot get the speed shot unless you are in the right position of me. That means that you have to live in the spirit of truth. Oh, I want you to catch it. I just heard the Holy Spirit say, in every man, a liar. Come on. The Bible says in Psalms that there are only one that's good. Only one, which is Jesus Christ. Am I right about it? My God from Zion. Only one that is good. Only one. It also says it in Matthew 19 and 17. Only one is good. Only one. So that means that we have to learn the truth of God by reading the word of God. This is where the spirit of true training happens. What are you saying on this morning, woman of God? You're saying a lot. What I'm saying in this first day of the first month of 2023, you have to start it all correctly. You have to start it off in your mind correctly. To have a mind to have the spirit of obedience. After you place in your mind that you are going to follow the instructions of God and you are going to follow the statutes of God, this is when you will experience the recompense. The recompense is not just going to come. We have to watch the way we treat people. Come on. We have to watch the way we act around people. Come on. There are prerequisites to the recompense is what I'm saying on this morning. There are prerequisites to the recompense. There are prerequisites to the recompense. In other words, the Lord is not just going to give you recompense. God says the lie has to die before he can give you the full restoration of the things that he has for you. I don't want you to miss it because of your mess. I don't want you to miss it because of your misconception. I don't want you to go into this year expecting things from God and you never see it. What I'm trying to give you on this morning is more of a meat than milk. We have to start it off right so that it is not cursed from the root. Do you understand what I'm saying on this morning? If you understand what I'm saying, say, woman of God, I understand what you're saying on this morning. You have to start it off right so that it can end up right. Yes, I hear you in the Holy Ghost. Yes, God gives us grace and mercy. We're saved by grace. But when God sends a clarion call, when the Lord raises up a horn to caution you, this means, my God, I feel the glory. This is a different type of obedience. This is a different type of instruction. If you are watching me on this morning, the Lord is speaking to you. God says that I need you to get it right so I can make it right. Oh, see. God said, I need you to get it right so I can make it right. See, some of us, we want God to make it right without getting it right. But that's not the way it's going to go in 2023. The Lord says that the lie, it will die. If you don't kill it, 
God says, I'm going to kill it. What that song says, I, you got to kill it. Come on, come on. If you don't kill it, <laughs> media is looking. If you don't kill it, God says, I'm going to kill it. A year ended in 2023 is trending. Trending, meaning the realms of God is speaking about you. Speaking about Dr. Dickerson. Speaking about Minister Miss Lily. Come on. Speaking about Pastor Gordon. Come on. The people that watch, the people that sow. Speaking about Miss Bernice. Speaking about Tammy. Come on. God says the realms are talking to you, A.J. Bosworth. Come on. God says the realms are talking about you. That means you are the hottest news in heaven. Oh. You are the hottest news in heaven. When you were seated, my God, there it is. When you are seated in heavenly places, God gave you an assignment to complete. When you were birthed out of your mother, Dr. Dickerson, when you were birthed out of Bernice, come on, huh? When you were birthed out of your mother, that assignment now had to go forward. The reason why the Rams are talking about you because it's your turn and it's your time to complete the assignment. Oh, that's rich. I hope you caught what I just said. I hope you understood what I just said on this New Year's Day. The Rams are talking about you because now you have entered into your season of Kairos. What is Kairos? Kairos is when heaven meets earth so that the will of the father is completed. Did you hear what I just said? Kairos is when heaven meets earth so that the will of the father is completed. I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. The reason why a year ended and 2023 is trending, that's because your assignment that you was born to do, come on, was not Jesus born, my God, to complete the plan of salvation. And he did it. And not only did he do it, he said, it is finished. Am I right about it? The Lord is pushing you for it. It is finished in 2023. God says he's ready for you to smile. God says he's ready for you to live in the glee that he has promised you. The abundant life, come on, that he has promised you. John 10 and 10, it talks about the thief come to rob, steal, kill, and destroy. Come on. But Jesus said, I come that you would have life and have it more abundantly. The abundance lives inside of the clean. Oh, I want you to catch it. 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 On oh, this signified New Year's Day. Come on. God is speaking to his people. Come on. God is speaking to the church on this morning. If you catch it in the afternoon, if you catch it at 12, 3, 6, if you catch it on a pop-up, come on. God is talking to his people on this day. If you catch it on a Thursday, the Lord is still speaking. God is speaking. God is speaking. God is speaking. It is time for you to move a stone. It is time for you to leave the wrong people alone. Come on. You know, God, he likes to deal with me in metaphors because I'm a writer. Am I right about it? Welcome to all the new people that is chiming in. My name is Minister Javon Ophelia Butler, my God, and I am a servant of the Most High God. The Lord says that it's time for you to leave some people alone. Come on. You got to love from a distance. You got to love from a distance. In 2023, if those individuals are not in the equation of you completing the assignment, you can't make somebody a part of your assignment. You will die trying. Come on. You will die trying to, trying to change the curse thing. Come on. Some people are cursed. Come on. Because they are disobedient. Come on. And they'll come into your life and make everything around you chaotic and cursed. My assistants can tell you, I live around peace and glee. 
I'm not dealing with no confusion. They can tell you, if they come to me, my sister, she just called me yesterday. And she said, this is that. And I said, I got to go, got to go. Bye, bye, bye. I don't like confusion around me. I don't like mess around me. Everything that I do is by the instruction of the Holy Ghost. If people got a problem with me in my time of glee, then that's on you. No confusion in 2023. Am I right about it? When the Lord is with you, he's with you. When God is for you, he is for you. I heard the Holy Spirit, he wanted me to say, God says, I will contend against those that contend against you. And God says, I will fight against those that fight against you. I'm talking loud on this New Year's Day because God wants you to understand that you cannot go to January 2nd in the wrong situation with the wrong people. Come on. 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 Praise God. Am I good? All right. Praise God. I'm telling you, God is speaking to the church on this morning. The Lord is speaking to the body of Christ on this morning. I want you to catch what the spirit of the Lord is saying. This is a new year. I hear God says no more tears. This is a new year. No more tears about their situation. No more tears about that person. No more tears about people's decisions. Come on. Whatever people want to do, let them do it. Am I right about it? You can't pull people into what you want them to do. People are going to do what they want to do. No more tears. No more years of tears. 2023. Two plus three is five. It is a year of grace and favor. Come on. It's a year of grace and favor to be fruitful. Am I right about it? The seed on today, the, your New Year's seed is $50. It is a grace seed. It's a beginning of the year seed that will cover the rest of your year with God's grace and his favor. Oh, I want you to catch it. 
You know, it was funny when God gave me the seed. I said, why is it 50? And it just came to me. Two plus three is five. We add the zero on it. Am I right about it? Because we want to do the Romany one and 11 blessing. That the Lord will bless us a thousand times more. Am I right about it? For those that have sown in, sown in 2022, your seeds are now germinating and sprouting. This seed is different from your 2022 seed. This is a beginning of the year seed. Oh, I want you to catch it. I just saw the seed myself on last night around 1130-ish. The Holy Spirit came to me and said, make sure you sow this seed. I saw the seed because I want to make sure that my year is covered. Am I right about it? Make sure you sow your grace seed of 50. Grace and favor that you will be fruitful in 2023. 2023 will be all about the Lord's glee upon your life. The Lord's joy upon your life. Happiness is for a moment. God is talking about his, what is it? Unspeakable joy. Come on. That's what the, that's what the spirit of the Lord is saying. Unspeakable joy. In this 2023 year, the lie will die. Whether you want it to die or not, the Lord says, I'm passing by. And because the law is passing by, the lie will die. I want you to catch it. The witches are dead. Off with their head. Come on. God says the witches are dead. Come on. If you are really spiritual, if you are really spiritual, you will know that in the realms, the demonic realm have lost concerning you. Oh, I want you to catch it. I know some people like to say, oh, I got the victory. You got to really know that you know that you know that you got it. You got to really know that you know that you know that you got it. If you are really spiritual, you will know that the battle that you've been fighting with the law in the forefront, my God, from Zion, I feel the glory of all this set. Come on. God says the battle that you've been in, come on. God says you have the victory. If you're really spiritual, you will feel the shift in the atmosphere to let you know that the demons have went running the other way. Oh, I want you to catch it. The enemies that you see on this day, you will see no more. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. I know the screen jumping. I want you to catch it. If you're really spiritual, you will know that the battle has already been won. I'm not just saying that. I'm talking about discerning it in your spirit. You can feel it down in your soul. You can feel the calm of the earth come on around you because you know that you have won the victory. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. Those that will sow the seed to cover the entire year, sow your great seed. That you will be favored and fruitful in 2023. Your seed will meet your need. Your seed will help you to experience the glee in 2023. Take it off. My God from Zion. I want you to catch it. I want you to catch what I just said. If you are really spiritual, you already know that your recompense is at the door. Come on. If you're really spiritual, that means you have passed all of your prerequisites. If you're really spiritual, you already know that you are living in the spirit of faithfulness and truthfulness. Come on. I want you to catch what I just said. God says the battle has been won. Let me tell you something. You know how a, a soldier, uh, when they have been in a battle, after the battle, they, they are tired and weary. Come on, come on, come on, come on. If you're really a soldier, come on. If you're really a soldier in this season that we just left out of, your spirit was tired and it was weary. Come on. But God will send someone, come on, to rejuvenate you, to refresh you. Am I right about it? If you're really spiritual, you know that you have won the victory. I'm not saying you just singing, oh, victory is mine. Come on. No, 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 no. I'm talking about you really knowing 
that you have the victory. Oh, I want you to catch it. And I want you to keep it. I want you to keep it. Come on. On this New Year's Day, you have the victory in your health. You have the victory in your finances. Come on. I'm talking on this sanctified set. What are you saying, woman of God? I'm going to say it again because I want people to understand. If you are a real spiritual person, then you have been in a battle and God has been fighting for you. You know that you know inside of your spirit and inside of your soul that the victory has been won. You can feel the demonic realm bowing down to you. You can feel the presence of the demons running away from you. Come on. You can feel the demonic realm and the devil afraid of you. Come on. Because you have now walked into a season of who God is showing you who you really are. See, the enemy don't want you to know who you are. That's why he put booby traps and distractions and people act in some type of way. Come on. So that you can be distracted from the real deal. So that you can be distracted from being faithful and true. But if you are really spiritual, you can feel the atmosphere talking to you. And in your spirit, you felt weary, wounded, and tired. But God sent you a refreshing. Come on. Because you have to go toward the new journey in 2023. You have to go into the new journey ahead. Oh, I want you to catch what I just said. The witch is dead. I just heard that in my spirit. The witches, the warlocks, the enchanters, the demonically influenced people that the enemy sent to assassinate your destiny. Come on, to take everything that God had gave to you. God says the witch is dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on. God says the witch is dead. Oh, I want you to catch it. See, we don't like to talk about witches, but witches are real. Witches are real. They're not green with a broom and flying in the air. Witches are people that look like you and I. And their spirits are faulty. Come on. How you know somebody's spirit is faulty? Because every now and then, if they come to you as a, a fake, fake person, you hear what I said? A fake, F-A-K-E, fake person. Fake F A I T H, a fake, fake person. Every now and then, their wickedness, it'll, it'll, it'll jump out at you. Come on. It's a spiritual. Do you know what I'm talking about? Every now and then, if you have third dimensional eyes and you could be talking to someone that's, you know, they look like they, they know God, they love God. Come on. But, but every now and then, if you're talking to them, the Lord will allow you to see that spirit. They'll say, who? And it'll jump back. This is how he deal with me. That's how he lets me know. This person is demonic. Yes, they know how to pray. Yes, they know how to preach. Yes, they proclaim, proclaim to love me, but 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 they are fake, fake people. They are denying the power thereof concerning me. Oh, I'm talking on the sanctified set. God is talking about restoration. God is talking about prerequisites. Come on. God is talking about 2023 and how God is going to fill you with glee. Through the spirit of obedience. God is talking about you being faithful and true. God is talking about you doing the right things on the first day of this first month. For you. God is talking about you being a first fruit to him. Come on. This message is not for the people that's not learned. This message is a sick message. It's a cloudy message. Because it's a mature message. We have to grow up. We got to stop hanging around immature things. We have to stop hanging around immature people. Come on. Because our minds will become immature. The Lord says, I'm looking for the mature Christians in this season. Oh, I want you to catch what I just said. I'm getting ready to get off. They're holding up a number two at me. Because I promised them that I was going to get off on time. Remember to sow your $50 seed. It will meet your need. Remember, we have a year ended. ended and now 2023 is trending. The heavens are talking about you. The heavens are talking about you. Great exploits shall she do. Great exploits shall 
he do. I'm talking loud on this morning because I want you to catch what the spirit of the Lord is saying concerning the church, concerning the body of Christ on this day, on the first day. The Lord says, get it right so I can make it right. Come on, come on, come on. I'm bringing you back through a summary. I didn't forget what I said. The Lord says, get it right so I can make it right. In order for you to, to experience the restoration, the restitution, the renewal, the recycling, the restore. Come on, come on. The rerouting. Come on. God says the prerequisite is that you have to be faithful and true. Be an image of Jesus. Be an image of Jesus in Revelation 3 and 14. 2023 is supposed to bring you glee. Don't you allow it to bring you nothing else. Less than. Faithful and true. Be true to the things of God. Be true to the people of God. Give honor where honor is due. Come on. Give of yourself as a first fruit. Be of service to your community, to your church, and to your job, and to people. God says, give yourself as a first fruit unto me. Come on. God says, 2023, he's going to fill your life with unprecedented glee, overwhelming blessings. The west wind will blow for you. What is the west wind, minister Javon? The west wind is God's overwhelming blessings. God says in 2023, I want you to do it for me. Come on. What has God said? He said, act in obedience unto me. He's talking about obedience. If you are willing and obedient, you got to be willing to be obedient. Then you will eat the good of the land. I know we all saying restoration. God is going to give you recompense. Come on. God says, I gave you grace, but don't wear out my grace. Come on. God says, I've given you grace, but don't wear out my grace. God says, where is the spirit of obedience that lives inside of you? Don't kick against the prick and rebel from the things of God. Even though the Lord has given us grace, we must honor God in the spirit of obedience so that we can win the race with the grace that he has given us. God loves you on today with an everlasting love, Jeremiah 31 and 3. Let your restitution be an institution. My God, I'm getting ready to get off. Let your restitution be an institution inside of you. You become a ready work. Come on. That people can learn and, and, and pour from you. Come on. Let the restitution that God is giving you make you an institution. Let it be a, let you be a learner. Come on, a learner stock, a place of forage from the restoration that God is giving you. That people can learn from you. Come on, let your restitution make you an institution of God. Come on, that his word can be housed in your spirit and it can be housed in your soul. God says, let your restitution Make you an institution. A place where people can come and learn of him coming out of you. Oh, I want you to put that on the screen. God says, let the restoration, let the restitution that I'm giving you make you an institution. That you will be testimonial and testify of the goodness of God and the things that he's brought you out. Oh, God says, let the restitution that I'm giving you Make you an institution for the world, for the people to come and learn from you. The Lord says, concerning my good works in your life. Oh, no more strife. No more strife in this life. I want you to catch it. No more strife in this life. If you are obedient, yes, we have troubles on every side. But even through the trouble, the Lord will be with you. And he will make it a sweet. Savory situation as you walk through your process, the Lord will not let the fire touch you. You will come out unburned. Oh, I want you to catch it. Let the restitution, the restoration, the recompense, the renewal, the restitution make you an institution for others to learn from. Have ready stocking, you have ready words for people, words of wisdom and words of life so that they can make it through their life 
that they won't take their own life. Come on, I'm talking on this sanctified set on this New Year's Day. God's blessings to everyone that has told me Happy New Year's. I love you. Remember, a year ended. 2023 is trending. But there's a recompense for the reward. Your restoration will not just come. You have to act in the spirit of obedience to receive the great blessing. 2023 will be your year of glee. God bless you. to always being on the scene. Sea Productions Incorporated has birthed Sea Spot and it is hot, hot, hot. Flaming hot with the Holy Ghost fire as Minister Giovanni Ophelia Butler brings the word from the four winds of God of the third dimension, the place where God lives pulling down the Kavad, God's Shekinah glory. Introducing Sea Spot, the virtual view. God's view about you. Boxing the devil through prayer. Prayer is your only weapon. God's mercy is renewed every morning. Join us for fire, straight down from heaven, as we go to war through prayer with Sila Serenity Prayer Line with Minister Giovanni Filia Butler. Dial in at 857-347-0610 or stream live from Sila Serenity Prayer Line on Facebook. For prayer requests, send your email to line at gmail.com. Moving the nations through prayer and Selah Spot, the virtual view. Catch the wave and join the movement. Like us now. All things, Romans 8 and 28, for your good, harder not your heart. And allow your heart to say yes to the spirit of obedience. The Lord is calling this nation down to its knees. Stop praying, heal the land and ask God to heal you so that you can heal the land. God bless you. Fresh wind blowing the Fresh wind blowing the Fresh wind blowing this room, yeah. Holy Ghost fire. Yeah. 